So one of the reasons that it's so mission critical that you as a project manager, leader, developer involved with O3 know about our design system is because of this situation that we came into as a community back in 2020. This situation where everyone's designs were so different that we could not share our front end features or our front end work. And we don't want to end up in, end up in this same situation again in a few years. So uh, what we did um, a couple years ago is we, we stood back, we did a lot of field research. In fact, I, I think back, uh, back here, we've got some, some pictures from a whole bunch of field research that we did with different colleagues around the world. And thank you so much to everyone who supported that. And to be honest, this is still ongoing. We're doing site visits and user interviews all the time. Um, but we, one of the things we realized is that um, our previous style guide uh, had some things that were inconsistent or unclear. For example, here you can see that um, sometimes we use capital letters, sometimes we didn't. Uh, the spacing wasn't necessarily consistent between different inputs and so on. So we ended up uh, looking at several different design systems. You might have heard of uh, some style guides like Bootstrap or Material by Twitter and Google, respectively. But we ended up deciding we wanted a full design system because it tends to come with more tools and assets than your typical style guide. So we looked at several options. And after reviewing for things like um, readability and the amount of data that could be added on a screen, we went with Carbon Design System, which is an open source uh, software project and community uh, led by IBM. So Carbon Design System, why did we decide to use a third party design system instead of building our own from scratch? Well, number one, we know our users expect a consistent and professional user interface, but we also as a community want it to be easy for new volunteers and new engineers to contribute meaningfully. But we have limited design resources. There just aren't that many UX designers in our community. And those designers that do become available, we wanted to use their time as efficiently as possible. Uh, finally, if you do create your own style guide and design system from scratch, there are costs involved in maintaining that. Now, of course, by using Carbon Design System, um, we do end up with a couple of dependencies, like for example, uh, we need to um, keep more or less up to date with the latest versions from the Carbon community. But here is Carbon Design System. Uh, here's their website. I'll just zoom in a bit for you here. And you can see, for example, if I wanted guidance on what is a button supposed to look like in carbon design? Well, you can see they've got this whole component guideline here about buttons, everything from the usage. You can do some um, live demos and click around and see how it's supposed to look. And so on. Um, styling guidance, uh, token, token structure as well as, drum roll, sample code. You can actually see some example code um, specifically for React we recommend, um, and you can see some guidance here uh, through using that Carbon website to get here in the first place. So those are a few reasons that we're using Carbon Design System. One of the other tools that we ended up finding quite helpful in this process of, of building OpenMRS3 was a, it's a tool called Zeppelin. Zeppelin is a design handover tool. What Zeppelin allowed us to do is have our designers and design contributors upload designs specifically to one place that we could all share. So for example, in this design on Zeppelin, you can see how um, uh, we can actually look at what it would look like on tablet versus on desktop. Um, sometimes there's also component guide, guidance. Um, so for example, we can see there are a number of style guide components used here. Zeppelin also gives us our own style guide to look at. So we've built on top of Carbon. Uh, let's go back to our style guide. All right, here we go. 
All right, so you can see in our local style guide, what we've done is we've taken uh, carbon design and there are a number of things that we kind of needed to make our own. For example, in carbon, they use a lot of really bright blue buttons, as you might have noticed, whereas um, the OpenMRS3 colors are slightly different. And so we've tried to make that clear in the style guide. Uh, the same is true for, especially for components that carbon doesn't cover. Carbon design is not just for the medical industry, which means that for some things like drug searching, for example, we needed to come up with our own patterns of how that information should look and what a, for example, a drug uh, tile component should look like. You might remember yesterday, I recommended that everyone bookmark two specific links. And one of them was this one, om.rs forward slash o3ui, um, because you will be needing this one. So make sure you have that bookmarked. What is this? This is our UI pattern library. And if in doubt, this is the one-stop shop for you to go to when it comes to the O3 design patterns. So for example, uh, let's say you are working with one of your team members and they say, hey, you know what, Grace, we really want to add a new uh, widget that's going to show um, growth over time, for example. You would look up the different example patterns to follow. So for example, the data tile pattern will show you, okay, if you want to show a simple list widget, what should that look like to keep things styled consistently? Now, the payoff of doing this is that you will then be able to have your work reused by other teams who can then help you maintain it so that you and your team are not alone in maintaining that work. What happened in the past is that as people built their own increasingly custom or slightly different visually apps, is that people ended up being alone in maintaining that application uh, in the longer term. The other benefit that you win is the more that uh, all of us contribute features that follow these patterns and uh, these different design tools, the more you will be able to reuse other people's work as well. So do make sure you have that bookmark. 